Welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. A lot Paul here with your weekend anomaly mission. Today is May 3rd, 2024. Tomorrow is Star Wars Day, May the 4th. So for news, we're doing a long stream tomorrow. So first things first, I'll be streaming on Twitch for a few hours in the morning. Not going to do No Man's Sky over there. We're going to stick with my original plan and do some Palia. If anyone's interested in seeing that, stop by, say hi, throw a comment in, and then you don't have to stay. It's perfectly fine. But we'll do it for a few hours at the very least. So we're going to start at 9 a.m. Eastern Time over on Twitch for just a few hours. Now, if things pick up and they're doing really well, we got some, a lot of people there, we may go on to about 1 o'clock or so, so about four hours. If things don't seem to be very popular and not a lot of people join us, we're going to end at noon. Either way, somewhere around 1 o'clock or a little after 1 o'clock, we're going to pick up on YouTube. So on YouTube, we'll be doing No Man's Sky with a little bit of a Star Wars theme going on. We're going to have a little bit of a background with Star Wars in it. We're going to have... Uh, I've got a couple pieces of paraphernalia here I'll be, I'll be uh, uh, displaying, if you will. And uh, we'll go from there. We're going to do all space-based in the afternoon from a little bit after 1 o'clock to whenever at this point. So it'll probably be to at least six, so at least a four or five hour stream for No Man's Sky. Looking forward to doing all this, and hopefully you can join me there. And uh, thank you very much for joining me here right now. Please hit the like button. It really helps the channel quite a bit. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, if you have been subscribed in the past, double check, because sometimes YouTube is unsubscribing people. So that's it. That's a thing. All right, let's get started the mission. Now, first thing you may notice as you're looking at my character, it's like, wait a second, this guy doesn't look like the normal character I'm seeing from a lot of Why is that? Well, that's because we're using our tertiary saber, using our new normal playthrough guy to do the anomaly mission again, except we're doing it for this weekend. Now, hopefully this will be a quick one. I've gotten a preview of what the mission is, and I think we can do this without having to go crazy. So let's go ahead into the Nexus and see what the mission is. Hopefully it hasn't changed. Yep, we're unearthing unearthing ancient bones, ex exhuming the ancients, if you will. Looks like a, our prize this time is 1800 Quicksilver, of course, and this time it's saying nip, nip Buds. Now, I checked it earlier, and it gave me a different prize, so if you wait long enough, you can get a different thing that you you know, always wanted. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one. And we see nip dip buds and what else? I think it's usually a cash reward. Oh no, 338 nanites. That's okay. I've got almost 10,000. That'll put me over to 10,000 mark. So let's start our mission. All right. And we're going to take our one and only ship that we have for this character, which happens to be an Explorer class ship. And off we go. If you have been watching my normal playthrough series, it usually takes place Wednesday mornings. I release a video every Wednesday at 6 a.m. Eastern Time for the normal playthrough. So this is the orbital update that we've been doing this in. And I'm doing this as a non-cheating style. I'm not glitch duplicating or any of that nonsense. We're doing it straightforward all the way. Doing the playthrough as it should be. We need, uh, need some, some items. We go find them. Dig them up. Do what we gotta can. Uh, what we what we have to in order to get it done so there we are all right so we're in a system here this actually that planet there is ancient bones so i'm assuming that's the planet we're going to and if you watch it hazing up that means a storm is starting to to show up on the planet fantastic okay let's head over here doesn't look like there's a whole lot of land on this planet it looks like it's a it's a, it's a water-based planet so that's good all right so heading down into the atmosphere You may be wondering, hey, this video came out pretty early this time. Well, that's because I've had the day off. Um, I can't even see the ground. Hold on. Whoa, that was close. That was really, really close. Now, the good news here, I don't have to actually land at a specific spot. But we're going to take a look around anyway. I like to make sure that my ship, because this is a newer character, has some place it can land. So let me just see what we got here. I've not seen the little green circles down there, so that doesn't look like anything I can do. Yeah, that's not going to help me any. I want to just see if I can't save some of my launch fuel. Ship. What do you think? I don't think it's anything. I think it's a shelter. I think. Wait a minute. That can't be what I think. Is it? 
Yep, it's just a shelter. Wow, you can't even see anything around here. So yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna actually try to find some place I can land that'll be easier on the ship. Ah, there we go. That works. I have no idea what this is. We're about to find out. Plop. Okay, well, we're on the ground. What kind of planet is this? Looks like hot. Largest planet, for me anyway. Gonna collect bones. Yeah, extreme storm. So you know what I'm gonna have to do? I don't have any heat protection for this character yet. So I am going to have to protect myself until the storm passes. Or else I'm gonna die. <laughs> Alright, and let's get... I like to make sure I get everything I can for this character because it is a new one. Salvage data always seems handy. Now let's go inside the uh, place here. Grab my nanites. Let that build up just a little bit. We need 12 bones, it says. Now, if you've got a, a character that's been around a while, like I have on some of my other saves, your the amount you'll need is going to be significantly less. So, uh, as far as a newer character, I apologize for a newer character is concerned. For a character that's been uh, around a while, you'll need more ancient bones. Usually, I had to get about 18 on my other save. So this tertiary, or third main save I'm making, is going to require only 12. So let's take a look while we're in here. It looks like we've got bones everywhere. 682. Uh, one's up there at 162 up on the hill. And 891 over there. Let's take a look around this way. Alright, so we've got three sites really close by. So this looks like a good landing zone. Looks like the storm is still brewing. What kind of a structure is that? Is that a regular one? You know what? We're going to check for that because this character could use a nice um, ship, maybe. Ship, huh? Let's see what we got. And I'll talk to the Viking while we're here. Uh, let's see. Good. So 2170. Distant stars. Okay, so it's probably greater on another planet, I'm guessing. I thought this might be a uh, crashed ship somewhere close by. Really? What's that? Not a crashed freighter. It's a, an ancient ruin. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. All right. Let's see if this guy will give me anything special while we wait for the storm. Let's see. Interloper. That's about... Yeah, yeah. Snarls at me. Their fingers twitch over the weapon's trigger. They demand an answer. So do we attempt to intimidate? Surrender information? Claim it? No, no, no. We want to intimidate. Stand tall. Bark at the warrior as fiercely as I can, attempting to reassemble. Resemble a Viking of high rank. Ensign Asa looks astonished. Finish my years of obedience. They become cowed, apologetic. They hand over their multi-tools as tribute. Whoa. So it's a B-class. I think I have an A-class multi-tool right now, but it got a pulse spitter in here, and I don't have that for this character yet. Nice. Yeah, I'll take it. Cool. But I'm going to switch back to my other multi-tool for now. See? Because it's a... Yeah, it's a B-class as well. It's already got the supercharged slots opened up, so I've got a kind of a nice little multi-tool. Credits. Oh, looks like the storm might be over. Okay. Yes? Yeah, it's just raining at the moment. Alright, let's go get our bones. There's some up there. We have to go to the other side of the wall over there to get them. Wow, that's quite a wall, isn't it? It's me at Ba Sensei. Oh, what the heck? I just hit something. Ha! No way. What did I hit down there? I think I hit an animal. So we got a worm up there. It's cool. Get some bones. So we need 12 bones, right? Switch over to my manipulator. Looks like we only got one here. Take a look. Rare one. 
753, but there's only one. So where's the other ones? 672 over there. It looks like there's two over there, and we got one at 750. All right, let's do this. Let's get them. Let's get them. So that's all you're doing here. Now, if you've got heat protection, good thing. Heat protection is a good thing because on this hot planet, you can just keep going. I can't. I need sodium nitrate, so if you don't mind, I'm going to stop off and get a little bit of shopping done here. There we go. Okay. I'm getting another storm coming in here. I'm going to be in trouble, but I can always call my ship in. Oh, look at all that sodium. Blessed be. That's a normal save. This isn't permadeath or anything like that, so I can carry copious amounts of this stuff in my inventory. Nice. Keep it going. Keep it going. Isn't that one? Five hundred? Yeah, Betty. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. All right. Let's get out of here. Okay, I literally, I think it just passed through a rock. Okay, so we got at least two here. Oh, three? I see three. There's some of this out here. There's the third one, right? Okay, so these look like cheap ones. One, two, and three. All right. Next one. what I'm trying to do. There we go. Okay. Gotta hurry, because we've only got four bones so far, and we really need to get this done. You know what we should do? Let's pull in the ship. Go there by ship, because we really need the protection from it at this point. See? Now you know why. So as long as we mark it, we, we, we're good. 77%, we should be alright. Now we can do it by ship. Oh, don't land right on top of it. Is that what I think it is? Activated Indium? Uh, you know what? I could use some. Dream storm, I gotta pay attention to it. I didn't really want to grab it in that there, but that's okay. Should have probably crawled underneath it. Little trick. Because you're down under here, it thinks you're inside of a cave, so you can protect yourself. But I'm going to collect it in medium. So I can get through it quicker. And then I'm going to try to get to the bones through a different means. There we go. Nice. I think we're exposed again. Yep. Alright, where are the bones? And we're in. Okay, so there's one. I think that looks like it's it. They look like the cheap ones. There we go. Alright. Nice. 230. That's pretty good. I can use that later, so that'll be really, really handy to have. Alright. Any more? No active signals? Okay, so we got to head back to our ship, and we should have to go someplace else. Where's ship? Ship, ship, ship. It's the ship. Should be right over my head, I think. Gotta look at the inventory thing above my head. Radar. Huh, okay. Let's go out the hole that we just made. There it is. In we go. 
so we're going to fly someplace else. We got six done. We need six more. Yeah, we're not finding anything. So I think we ought to just plop down. I don't think I'm going to worry about my launch thrusters at this point. Uh, I don't really want to land there. Go down a little further. Okay, take a look. Okay. Back the other way. So that's how this one's going to work. They got a couple trees on the way. No big deal, right? Looks like there's only one bone here. I was hoping for more. Every now and then you can find one that has like about five different bones there. Oh, we got two. Good. So we're going to just carve down just a little bit. There's, there it is. Now this one looks like a cheap one. This one? Nope, also cheap. Alright, let's take a look around. Um, besides armored clams. It's good that the storm's clearing because I'll be able to see the sky a little better. Up to eight. We need four more. A little bit of scariness there. There we go. Go through. Go elsewhere. Oof. All right. I'm going to go over this way this time. I want to make sure I'm not heading someplace that I've already been. Okay, it doesn't look like it. All right, good, good. Just flew right through that. Hello. Stop that. Just drop your butt down. Thank you. There we go. Okay. Anything? Too weak. Alright. When it tells you to go in a particular direction, even though the signal's too weak, don't bother. Just go someplace else. Hmm. Communication station six minutes away. That means somebody's been here. What do we do? Do we go there? What about over here? What do you got? 17? Hmm. Let's land up here and see what we got. Let's drop down right here. We can always recharge. Alright. Ooh, okay, see? Look. Right there. Let's get it. No storm at the moment, so we'll just Tom and Jerry it over. It's like just one. There we go. One. So we should have one all the way over there. Two all the way over there. That's good. At least two, maybe more. Good. This might be it. Great if there were three, and then we could be done. <laughs> there we go. Looks like just the two, so we'll have to get one more. Alright, that's one. The other one. Oh, a rare one. Good. We have one more to get, and we're done. Weird coloring on this planet, isn't it? Too weak, so we're going to have to go elsewhere. And that's how this one runs. Okay, we'll land right here. Looks like I just found some more activated indium. Right under my ship. Can't get it. Alright, that's alright. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Bone. Right there. Looks like one more. Excellent. So there you go. Is this... 
Dioxide. Yeah, I'll take it. Large quantities of it, but you know, hey, that's okay. The oxide is also a very good element to have. It helps recharge your life support in much smaller quantities than oxygen. Get it when you can. And here we go. Looks like one bone, which is okay. That's it, right? Of course my inventory is full. Let's see. All right, we don't need the food. Let's get rid of that. Just need one more. Done. So now we have to locate Bolos. Pal. Paleontologist pal? Bolos paleontologist pal? Osteo osteologist? Osteologist. That's name. I know that that's what that was called. Okay. Can't get it, huh? It's all right. I wanted to see if I can get any of it, but it's not going to let me get it, is it? No? Okay. Out we go. All right, so we're going to hit C. Oh, I love this new thing. It actually rotates across the screen. The screen it shows you where it's going to be located at. There we go. Looks like the contact is just up ahead, 15 seconds away. So what we do is we present them with the bones, and he analyzes them, Tells you did a good job, and then you head back. That's it. Oh, right next to a freighter. Go figure. Coming in for a landing. There he is. Hello, Mr. Viking. You expect Aiden? King grunts a hello. They neither question who sent me nor offer an explanation for why they are out here alone. They do, however, seem to understand the nature of what I brought them. So we show them the samples. Prefect Aiden, quick, quietly. Quietly? Yes. Runs a device across several of the samples, handling the remains with profound respect. They return the bones and transmit the scan data directly into my suit, ready to deliver to the Nexus. And we're done. Almost. All right. Get that piece of uh, technology. Good. Check the damage machinery because that's what I'm trying to do on this new save. There we go. A scanner module. Very nice. And we're out of here. Looks like a new storm is brewing too. Oh, this place has a lot of storms. Whoa. Okay. That was crazy. Okay. Bring in the Nexus. Bring in the Nexus. Planetary interference. I'm not far enough out. Apparently. There we go. And we're on to the anomaly. Very nice. Wow. Well, let me do a thing here. I just want to get a couple pictures. Hope you guys don't mind. I'm testing theories out in regards to video quality and picture quality, so I want to get weird pictures when I can. Alright, there's the Nexus. Inside the anomaly, we're almost done, ladies and gentlemen. Now, as you know, there's been an update that came out through everything that's been going on, and the update was pretty large, but at the same time, it mainly just fixed bugs again. And... We'll check some things out here in just a moment. So, complete the mission. We got our items. And most of my stuff's going to be in my uh, ship inventory, I'm assuming. Since I'm out of room in my... Yeah, yeah, there you go. 
Let's install this in my suit, by the way. Very nice. Very nice. I'm going to get some more cash for scanning things. Let's see what the Quicksilver vendor has in store. Looks like we're at 66% on tier 2. It hasn't quite sped up at the speed I thought it would, so I expect as we watch it over the weekend, we're going to see how fast this gets done. So we'll see what happens here. All right. So that is the end of our episode. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you all for watching. And one thing you always want to remember, by the way, when you're doing the anomaly video, if you wish to return to the sector of space you were in before, get back in your ship and leave exit real quick so you can get a save point but get back in your ship and leave and simply take off and it will send you back to the original system you were in see and that way you're back to where you started you don't have to worry about uh you know working your way back there at a different place you can go through the portal as well this will get you there for free it doesn't cost you any fuel on your ship and it takes you takes you out exactly right next to the space station well, thank you again for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll see you again in the future. Take care.